In this video, we're going to answer a number of frequently asked questions about Big Bear Mountain Roller Coaster at Dollywood, such as what's the minimum height requirement? How fast does this roller coaster go? How long is the ride? And does it go upside down? I will also be giving you a very close, detailed look at what the seats are like to help you determine if it's one that you will be able to ride. The first tip I wanted to give you is the quickest route to Big Bear Mountain Roller Coaster in Dollywood is to take an immediate left when you first come into the park. And the first frequently asked question I wanted to answer is, is it on the time saver? And the answer is no, not yet at the time of recording, but it will eventually be a time saver pass option. So let's continue to head back in the park. A lot of people have asked, is it a bumpy ride or a smooth roller coaster? And I would say Big Bear Mountain is a very smooth family roller coaster tucked in the back corner of Wildwood Grove. The next question I wanted to answer is, will you get wet riding Big Bear Mountain? And despite this beautiful waterfall here, the answer is no you will not get wet on this roller coaster. Unless there's a little bit of rain, which it should still be able to operate in, and this roller coaster never goes upside down at any point. As we've made it back to Big Bear Mountain in the corner of Wildwood Grove, you can see the highest point in the track right here at the top of the screen, it's 66 feet. The roller coaster itself will see a maximum speed of 48 miles per hour. Another question I see people asking is, how long is the ride itself? It comes in at 99 to 104 seconds, or we can just say it's a little under two minutes. As you approach the entrance, you'll notice a time saver pass entrance right here. We'll cover time saver passes in an upcoming video. Let's take a closer look at the height requirements. You can see here it says, all riders must be at least 39 inches tall to ride. If you're between 39 and 48 inches, you must be accompanied by a person that's at least 14 years old. I also wanted to point out, it says here, due to the nature of the restraint system and seat configuration, Big Bear Mountain may not accommodate riders of larger stature, and that the seat restraint system must securely close and lock into place without using exaggerated force. So let's go over and take a closer look at the seats. As we walk through the line queue, I did want to take a moment to stop and show you what one of the launches of this ride is like. There are some shaded areas of the line with some fans up above if it is a hot summer day. But I also wanted to show you another angle of the first of three launches this coaster has. Continuing on, we're gonna take a closer look at the coaster, but before we did that, I wanted to show you this sign as a reminder of some things they recommend you not have on the ride, which they recommend being left with a non-rider, or you can place it in one of these bins right here that will be right across from getting on to the coaster. So as the coaster pulls up, before we get on, I wanted to give you a very clear, close look at what the seats are like, the restraints are like, nothing goes over your shoulders. It has a lap bar with a very similar style to another coaster they have called Fire Chaser Express. If you can ride that one, I think you can ride this one. But I felt like the seats were pretty good size. I'm six foot one, 200 pounds, and I felt like my knees still had some room and had plenty of width on each side of the seat. You can see the lap bars pulled down here on the seats as it takes off, but that is a closer look at what the seats are like. As far as what's better, riding the very front or the back, I'm gonna leave that up to the comments section. So if you've been on this coaster, let us know what you think about it and what you think is better, riding up front or in the very back. That's gonna wrap up this video going over a number of frequently asked questions. Hopefully your question was answered. If it wasn't, head down to the comment section and feel free to ask any questions you have. We'll do our very best to help you out. If you found this video helpful, do us a huge favor, hit that like button down below and make sure you are subscribed as we'll be going over the new Time Saver Pass system and helping you answer the question of, is it worth it? along with much, much more here at Dollywood and beyond. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.